Hi everyone. My name is Nabuja Kwame Rimon and you are welcome to another YouTube tutorial to my video channel. In today's video, I'm going to teach you guys how to uh, create an account with the United States Geological Service, popular known as the Earth Explorer, and to be able to get a uh, satellite image as post free for your remote sensing work. So um, United States Geological Service is like a collection of satellite data, a lot of satellite data like Sentinel-2 data, or have Landsat data, and quite a lot of them there, where you can go and download any of them at cost free. So without uh, wasting much time, I'm going to um, want to proceed teach you how to download the satellite data of your choice for a study area. So let's go on. So I'll come to open the website, uh, open my Chrome, and I'll type at Explorer. So I have at Explorer here. So I'll click on this, then it load. So it loads this way, it brings me to. Um, so when I come here, they tell you login. So I'll click on login. So because I already created an account with them, um, my, I've saved my data inside, so I'll just come and sign in. But if you have not created an account with them, you have to click on create account and follow the steps. So when you are done um, following the steps and you submit, we are going to give you an approval uh, message in your email, then that way you can open it and you can start assessing the the, the interface, right? So you can create, create uh, click on create account and i think we are going to be fine follow the procedures they have a lot of um help there that can help you be able to download the satellite image as well so like go there and you find so i'm going to click sign in because i've already signed into the software so when you click on on sign in this is what is going to show and you see i have logged in my name you have raymond at 2021 year so it become here yeah, the these are um the interface of the the, the the website but um so i'm going to now teach you how to um be able to assess data from this interface so the first thing you have to do is um we have so many ways of searching for a study area we have the path and row we have the future then we have um the path and row and we have the address feature so the path and row you should know the path and row of your account uh, your country because particular landsat data has divided every country to path and row. And for instance, Ghana is around 193 for the path and the row is 053. So if you know something like that, you can be able to search for the place you are going down the satellite image. Or you can also use a future uh, add address or future where you can just type in the name of the place we are looking for. So I'm going searching for something like Tamale in Ghana. So I'll just type in Tamale here. Then I'll do comma. Then I'll, so it is, it is advisable when you type in the city area, you add the country in which it is. So I'll type tamale.gan, then I'll show area. So if I click on show area, a, a pop up window is going to appear here, which is going to show me the latitude and length of tamale. So I'm going to click on tamale Ghana, and the map is going to be zoomed to that particular place that I'm looking for. So that means any image that I'm going to download here is going to be based on tamale. Another way of um, getting uh, uh, getting your study area is you can also come here, they call it KML or save file. So you can start to upload the KML or save file into the world, the system, and, and, and you, can, you, can, you are good to go, right? You, or um, if you are also finding it difficult, you can just come to the map and select the coordinates that you want. So you can decide to pick coordinates from um, the map the way it's supposed to be. So just um click here click here click here that is if you know where your city area is and the system is going to be selected so you can just add coordinates and you are good to go right so uh, this other way of selecting the place that you want so i'm going to remove all distance and use the one i said earlier so i'm going to type in i'm going to select add address or places and i'm going to type tamale Ghana and I'm going to hit OK. So I'll select Tamale Ghana and it's zoom to um, the place where Ghana is as well. So what is happening is that, uh, so if I'm here, so I can see the coordinate of um, Tamale here. So 
what is now left with for me to select the date and the, the date that I want. So to search form is the starting date that you want and the ending date that you want. So in this case, for instance, if I'm going to search for So if you are here, um, you can see from the um, data range. So this basically are the data that you are going to search for the data. So assuming um, I'm going to search for a data, let me say like I need a data between January 2020 and December 2020. This is what I'm going to do. So search form, I'm going to top down this calendar here. Then I'm going to choose 2020. Then I'll go for January, then it is going to be displayed here. Then I'll come to 2020 here to as well. Then I'll be selecting 31st. I'll be selecting December because I need at the end of the month, the year. So I'll select 31st December. And these are the data range I'm going to get. So we're able to select the, uh, the interval between you want your data to be. Probably somebody can take one month interval. I mean, like, you can decide to say 1st January 2022 to 31st January 2020. And if there's any data available, we are going to get, right? So from here, you proceed to data set. So I click on data set. There are a lot of satellites that provide satellite that provide uh, satellite data. So you see, um, we have a different type of data set we have. We have the land cover, we have the global, so we have um, NASA, we have the digital elevation model, we have AI imagery, but because we are having interest in the Landsat, because Landsat is a satellite that, that normally provides us with the data. So I'm going to extend the Landsat. So if I extend the Landsat, so you can see here they are saying collection two, level three, collection. So don't be confused with this then. Depending on the um, the level of a process image that you are looking for. So if you are a beginner and you want to do your own processing, or want to do your own geometric and geometric uh, correction, then you can go for collection one level one. But if you are already in advance in the four, then you probably you are going to work on something and you want the images that, that have already been what maybe uh, corrected in terms of geometric correction and careful and other stuff. So you can go for the collection two level three or, or something like that. So in this case, I'm going to go for collection two level one because we are I'm assuming everybody here is still a beginner and like you need to do your own image processing to understand how it works. So I'm going to click on person two level one. So if you extend here, these are type of Landsat that we have. We have Landsat one to five, have Landsat four, have Landsat seven ETM, then have Landsat eight. And currently we have Landsat nine, but I have a, um, so I'm going to select Landsat it this is the last that i want and i'm clicking okay so i'm going to go to additional criteria so if i go to additional criteria um then i again proceed then i'll come to resource so i'll click on the resource so if i click on the resource these are the images that are available for landsat it and within the interval of 1st January 2020 to 31st January, 31st December 2020. So you can see we have quite a lot of the images here because they um, we ha having have up to five, five, I can nest up to five and I'll still get the images uh, depending on, because I've given it one year interval and the Landsat settlers always passes everywhere system days. So that means we are going to have, every system they are going to have a new data set. So that's why you see, um, the data is very plenty like that. Maybe in the case where you are giving it just one, one month interval, I'm sure the data is going to be less. You might get like five data sets or so. So to download your satellite image, you can probably preview to see how it works. Uh, you can decide to use a footprint. If you use a footprint, these two the places within the uh, image that I mean that is that the image has covered. So if you are dealing with thermally 
it's obvious that no all part of Tamale has, is going to be covered because like you are going to have Yindi is not covered and some part of Tamale to app Tamale to, is not covered. So this way you have to download two or more images and mosaic them or you can make them together and you are fine to go. Um, so have, uh, you can start to also put in the overlay to see how it is going to be. So this is how our image is going to be. There are a few clouds here, so we can do this to see, like if I put in overlay for this particular image, um, you see we have, there are less clouds on this particular image, but however, it is, it is, I don't know, it's not, it doesn't cover Tamale, like it cover only some part of Tamale, right? So, um, you may decide to check, you can go through all the images here to see the one that most, I mean, best with your study area, then you are good to go. So when you get the image that you think is um, suitable for you, just come here, you click on download. So when you click on download, this is what is going to come. You are going to have, I mean, like a whole lot of uh, data here. So you might decide to download the bands or you can decide to download the entire data. So depending on the option that you want, but if I'm going to download the entire data, if I want to download you know, like from band one, band two, you can use this to download. But if I'm going to download the entire data, just click here. So as you can see, uh, my data So um, my data is downloading here. So it is going to download in the form of a zip. Uh, so you need a software called WinRA to help you extract the data from the, uh, the, the, the images from the distance. So I think that's going to be fine. So I think um, I'm going to end today's video here. And like, if you have been able to download the image, the next video, we are going to learn how to extract the image and probably upload the image into MD and do the basic image uh, processing like, uh, uh, calibration, uh, we are going to do geometric corrections and careful and the stars. So basically, uh, this is the end of this video. And thank you very much for watching. If you are new here, kindly subscribe and to help the YouTube channel grow. Thank you very much. and see you another time.